Hi team, at the moment we're going through the Vardenfell and Clockwork City event. During this event there's a few things you should be doing to make the most out of your time in these areas. I'm going to tell you the best things you can do and some things you might not know about. First up, I encourage you to pick every single node that you ride past. Every one has a chance of a tribunal coffer, as well as it helps drive down prices of over expensive materials. On the top end of this list I recommend you pick up all alchemy ingredients and any other ingredients which you can refine for gold materials. Next is something you might not be aware of. Most of the item drops that come from Clockwork City are in the Apostle style. The style material for this one is selling around 2,900 gold per one. This is wicked because you get this off world bosses, you get it off the daily, you get it from chests, all these items can be deconstructed and have a chance at dropping a piece of tempered brass. Chuck it up in a guild trader for 2.5k, this will sell very quickly. Oh dear. The next thing you should be doing, while you're in uh, Vardenfell specifically, is getting every single chest possible. In these chests, you can get the tribunal coffer, but you can also get the buoyant armager motif. This motif is worth anywhere between 40k and 200k for the different pieces. The chest pieces are the ones that go for the most, as usual, uh, but uh, all of them are worth a pretty penny. Well worth taking a, a bypass on the way to the world boss dailies and every other daily that you do. If you want to farm chests specifically, there's a few groupings of them. I've made a little map of the ones I usually do if I'm going to do chests only. Um, usually it's better and more optimal to do it on the way to somewhere, but hey, if you're having a chill day and just feel like some chests, go for your life. Wait, what? Okay, so here's the thing. While I was recording, they were talking about literally what I'm about to talk about now. From the dailies in Alderuin, which is uh, up the left-hand side of Vardenfell, you can get Ashlander costume. Now, the medium helmet looks like a gimp. Now, the value of these motifs aren't really worth that much, but they are definitely cool and still range from around 4k to 10k per piece. This price will probably drop a little bit from the event, uh, but it still does look like a cool motif. It's definitely one to add to your collections. During this event, the market has been flooded with War Maiden rings and necklaces. In purple, these are selling for around 2k. Now if you remember in one of my weekly sales videos, I recommended buying cheap purple and blue jewellery for below what the Zircon plating is worth, and then deconstructing them for that plating. The chance of you getting it at max crafting level is well worth it, and with the War Maiden rings and necklaces going for so cheap, I definitely recommend jumping on this for some quick money. Now, apart from rotating through tunes and spamming the daily quests to get the tribunal coffers and the extra goodies from them, there's not really that much else extra you can do in these areas. Vardenfell is my go-to for my daily writs, so that's one little plus, but I think I've covered most things in this little quick video. If you can think of others, please let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely add them into another video. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe.